Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYNT Mountain News at 11. Good evening, I'm Steve Hensley. And I'm Kentucky is taking major steps to combat COVID-19. Tonight, we've learned of another confirmed case in Harrison County. Now, Kentucky now has a total of 11 confirmed cases of COVID-19. None are in southern or eastern Kentucky. The governor says there were also 51 negative tests done today, but officials expect more cases to be found. That's led to schools shutting down and events being canceled across the country. We'll have much more on the coronavirus outbreak in just a moment. But first, strong to severe storms producing very heavy rain are moving across eastern Kentucky. One tornado warning just expired. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Paige Noel on this severe weather alert day. Paige. If you were with us just a few moments ago, we just saw that warning expire. We're starting to see that severe thunderstorm warning down into Campbell County and Claiborne County. They are continuing it, but they took the tornado tag off of it. Heavy, heavy rain, though, continuing to fall in this area. Let's go ahead and zoom in, though, down to the severe thunderstorm warning. That is still until about, I think, I think 1115, 1130, excuse me, for Claiborne County and just Lee County, Virginia. We have seen Campbell County get canceled from this. The tornado tag has been taken off of it. So that system now moving into Middlesbrough. Now, of course, this storm does have a history of producing very gusty winds, some hail and very heavy rain. So if you are in the Middlesbrough area, just take it easy and stay weather aware. But mostly all of us just seeing heavy rain right now. Haven't seen a whole lot of issues, have not gotten a whole lot of reports as we kind of zoom zoom back out here or zoom back into some areas and we even saw a tornado warning for parts of Whitley County a little bit ago but starting to see those expire. I think we'll see mostly some heavier rain as we move into tonight. So we'll talk about what to expect a little bit more heading into the rest of those overnight hours coming up in a little bit. All right. Thank you very much, Paige. Now back to the coronavirus. More than 1,300 coronavirus cases have been confirmed now in 45 states in Washington, D.C. The death toll now tops 40 in the U.S. And today, cancellations and closures continue to increase. CBS's Don Bacchus has the latest. As authorities race to contain the coronavirus, public events across the nation are being canceled. Nearly all major sporting events have been called off, including March Madness. I would rather it not be canceled, but possibly rescheduled. I heard one of the commentators say this morning, possibly a May Madness would work. That would work for us. The NBA, NHL, and Major League Soccer have suspended their seasons. Major League Baseball is suspending its spring training. Broadway is going dark. And California's Disney resorts are closing down starting Saturday until the end of March. If Disney's closing, you know it's bad. All schools in Ohio, Maryland, and the cities of Atlanta and San Francisco have been ordered closed. The pandemic is also taking a toll on the stock market. Wall Street just had its worst day since the 1987 crash. It's going away. We want it to go away with very, very few deaths. President Trump continued to downplay growing fears, saying he is considering declaring a national emergency under the Stafford Act, which would free up more federal resources. Donya Backus, CBS News, Los Angeles. And within the last hour, we learned the wife of Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has tested positive for the coronavirus. And just a day after banning fans from the big dance, the NCAA cancels all winter and spring competitions. This includes the men's and women's basketball tournament. In a statement, the NCAA said the decision was based on efforts to not contribute to the ongoing outbreak of the coronavirus. The NCAA follows the lead of the NBA, who suspended its season last night. Martin County High School may be a newly consolidated school, but it holds a lot of old dreams for the community. So when the school won the regional championship Monday, representing Martin County in the Sweet 16 for the first time in decades, everyone was prepared to show up in Lexington until today's announcement that the Sweet 16 is at least postponed, sending a wave of emotion through the school and community. You know, it's been 37 years since we got to go last time. and. Uh... Yeah, schools are size, you know, it's tough to go. I mean, it's tough to ever get go. We don't get a lot of opportunities to go. So uh, we're, all, we're all very devastated right now. 
Fans say they hope to see a new date for the tournament announced soon, saying the school spirit that was born this season is something the community has not seen in years. And in Eastern Kentucky, Miss Basketball is back on U.S. soil. Bell County's Macy Morris made a plea the other day for someone to get her out of Italy. Her agent and family worked to make that a reality. Wednesday into Thursday, she boarded a plane out of central Italy, starting a long trip to Lexington. Her mother texted her through the day and is thankful for everyone who is praying for Macy's return. I just really appreciate everybody thinking about us and the concerns and just everybody, just the outpouring and I've just, I've been texting and just been so busy. I just want to thank everybody. The Morris's plan to self quarantine for the recommended period of time. So far, Macy has shown no signs of having the virus. Well, the SEC announced today the cancellation of the remainder of the 2020 men's basketball tournament that had already started in Nashville. Now, Kentucky was supposed to play tomorrow, but now their season is over. WIMT's Dakota Maker has talked with a local dentist who planned to go to the tournament. Concerns around the coronavirus caused the SEC to cancel the men's tournament in Nashville, leaving ticket holders without a game to attend. Was disappointed. He's disappointed. Dr. Shauna Holiday is one of those ticket holders. I was disappointed when I found out that it was canceled, but actually it gave me kind of an out because I hadn't decided what I was going to do as far as traveling there. Making this trip a family event. I was taking my son and I didn't want to put him at risk. Her son is a sports fan, so he was not too happy about the news. He likes games and he likes that atmosphere, so he's a little bit disappointed, but he'll be okay. A concern over the coronavirus, not sure what she should do. I hadn't made that decision yet, but I was leaning towards staying home, mainly for my son and myself. And always looking out for her patients. I certainly didn't want to bring anything back here to spread. So in the back of my mind, uh, we probably were not going, and this just made the decision a little bit easier. She received an email saying the money would be returned to her account. Well, they automatically refunded the money, so it was an automatic refund. She plans to return next season. Absolutely, we'll be back in Nashville next year. Even though she is disappointed the game is canceled, she knows it is for the best to stay home. In Hazard, Dakota Makris, WIMT Mountain News. The SEC posted on Twitter, fans who bought tickets to the tournament can expect a refund by March 31st if they purchase tickets through the SEC office, university, or SEC ticket exchange. Fans who bought tickets through secondary market sites are asked to contact those vendors for a refund. Now, Governor Bashir recommended today that all public and private schools close for two weeks. Perry County Superintendent Jonathan Jett says closing school for a long period of time puts some families in difficult situations. But preparations, if that happened, include de delivering meals to students who need them. Now, it is not known yet if Perry County will be among those to take the governor's recommendation to close. Seniors from Perry Central High School were also scheduled to go on a cruise, while seniors from Buckhorn High School will going to California, but not anymore. And just a reminder, other school districts are sending us closings by the hour. You can see those on the bottom of your screen and over on WIMT.com. As schools close their doors, we did learn of a bill related to this now in the legislature. It would allow for 10 more non-traditional instructional days. The governor says he supports that and he believes it has strong bipartisan support. The Kentucky General Assembly postponed the session until March 17th next Tuesday. Leaders say it's an effort to prevent spreading COVID-19. Governor Bashir is expected to give an update on Kentucky's response to coronavirus tomorrow at 9 a.m. You can see that live on WYMT. Now the spring meet at Keeneland in Lexington will begin without spectators at the track from April 2nd to the 11th. Keeneland will only allow a small number of people directly connected to the horses. Keeneland officials said the last time the spring meet did not go on as planned was during World War II. He says there were a lot of factors, one of them being spacing in the crowd. The CEO is urging those who bought tickets from April 2nd through 11th to not worry. He says you will receive a full refund. The sport boat and RV show this weekend at the Appalachian Wireless Arena in Pikeville is canceled. While discussions with community leaders and health officials suggest the risk is low for anyone that attends to contract COVID-19, everyone's priority is to protect you, our friends and neighbors. We'll be right back.